What is good with y'all boys, man? 2K community, man. I have just created one of the best builds in this game, if not the best builds in this game. Look how I'm cooking up. By the way, this is day one for me. I don't know about y'all. I got the game a little late. So I came on here actually cooking like crazy. And this new build that I have created, man, y'all are going to want to see this build. I'm shooting from deep. I'm dribbling. I'm cooking up everybody in the park. This is giving me 2K15 vibes, 2K17 vibes. I'm getting all over again. 2K has did a great job this year, and I'm actually loving this game. How are y'all actually feeling about this game, man? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'm telling y'all, boys, y'all need this deal right here. Y'all trying to cook. I know y'all struggling dribbling. The first game that I played, I literally couldn't dribble at all. I was moving like a drone, and I had to play two or three games. And now I'm in my bag, man. I'm literally in my bag. Y'all can literally see right now. I'm pulling from deep. I'm playing the twos, the threes. You even can play poem fives with this deal, but I haven't even touched the fives yet. This 6-2 demigod is literally crazy. I'm telling y'all boys, y'all about to go so crazy when I show y'all this build. So let's hop straight into the build. Now when first creating your build, man, you already know that this right here does not matter. I do need y'all to sub up though, so that's why that's my last name, man. I need y'all to hit that subscribe button. But y'all know right here, man, I always go left hand. I literally stay going left hand since every 2K I ever single play. And then with the jersey number, I usually go jersey number 7, but it does not really matter right now. I'm just showing y'all the build. Now, first things first, you want to go with the height at six foot two because when you go six foot three, people do not tell you this already. So many people out here got y'all making six foot three builds, and you clearly not getting what you paid for. These attributes, you do not get all the attributes when you go six foot two. If you go six foot two, you get way more attributes, and that's literally the secret in the game. So you go with the height six foot two and a weight at one seventy. I'm telling you, this build right here is literally a killer. This build will have y'all boys cooking up like crazy. Now you're gonna do have to do exactly every single thing that I'm doing just so I can get the exact build down. Now for the close shot, you have to go with 74. This is all the default stuff because this is what's gonna go up by the time that you put the build. But we're just gonna start off with doing every single thing correctly. Now you put the close shot at 74, you put the drop and layup at 80. You have a drop and layup at 80 because bro, in this game, you blow wide open layups. I don't understand it. If you do not upgrade that layup, you literally will blow a wide open layup. It's so dumb in this game. But for the driving nook, you want to go with the 89 driving nook. The 89 driving nook right here gets you the silver posterizer. Once you upgrade your vertical to a 75, and you will really have the contact nuts. Y'all remember last year that you had to have a 94 driving nook to get the minimum contact nuts? All you need is an 89 this year. You really can dunk on anybody with an 89. And you literally will get every single poster animation so make sure that y'all boys are going 89 i'm telling y'all this might be the best build and the only build that you have to make throughout the whole entire year now for the next attribute you want to keep the standing duck at 34 and for the next one you want to go with 35 man 35 only because y'all have to copy exactly what i'm doing now because this is all i remember that i did and i'm literally trying to show y'all step by step so y'all don't mess up the build now with the mid-range shot is literally going to go to 84 it's going to go to 84 because when you throw your three ball to a 94 you want to go with the 94 so you can get all these badges look at all these badges right here why would you not want all these badges even though 2k is on day two you literally would never mess up your build because you have all these badges and this is right here supposed to be open looks and open looks on go as a guard is literally crazy and then limited rage on on gold bro that's just too crazy but you put your three to a 94 and your main range will automatically go to 84 so you don't want to upgrade your mid range unless you just like doing middies and you want crazy or even shooting you don't have to do that now you can tweak this build in your own way if you want to that's literally up to you now for the free throw i went with an 81 free throw only because in a matter of time i might either play the pro m 5v5 or the rank mode or i might play the pro m 5v5 regular mode sometimes i play rec when i'm bored just to get my rep up and if y'all want to play rec you know be able to knock down free throws y'all need to have some type of free throw now with the pass accuracy man you already know we go with the minimum 75 you can literally go 77 i don't know what the threshold is for like better diamonds 82 but you don't really have to do that i literally just went with 75 75 is literally the same thing as every single pass act in my opinion so you can go 75 and you can go 95 bond with this build 95 bond look at the look just look at what you get bro when you go with the 95 just look at what you get you get literally some of the best badges in this game and when steve francis come out 
you literally will have Steve Francis and you can do so much on this build. And I haven't even showed y'all what y'all can really do on this build. This build literally has a 95 ball handle and the speed wheel ball is going to be a 91. You get lightning launch on Hall of Fame. This is going to have you moving side to side, left to right, how fast I was moving. You need this badge right here. This is literally going to have you clicking up everybody in the park, rank, rank whatever you want to play. This is going to have you clicking up every single person you play against. Now for the ball handle, like I just told y'all, 95, y'all have to keep these two right here. No matter what, because when them animations come out, they about to come out very soon. And seasons, you know how they do the season releases. When these come out, you're going to want the Steve Francis. So you want to need a 95. That's always minimum with Steve Francis. You need a 95. Now with the interior defense, you want to go with a 46. I, like I told y'all, it's not, it's like random because, you know, this is my build. That's I'm just doing everything that I did before. Now with the perimeter defense, this is the thing about this build. Listen, with the 6-3, you don't get to get defense. You don't get to have defense. You only get to have the one option. So with this build, you can have a 94 ball handle, 94 3, 89 driving dunk, 82 perimeter, and guess what? A 91 steal. You can have a 91 steal on this build. You can literally get gold glove, bro. Gold glove on this build is actually crazy. You can get steals, you can get lanes and acceptor on gold. This build is probably the most game breaker build. How do you ever need another build in the meantime? Like, this is gonna be the best build probably throughout the whole year. Six two guards is already meta. And we obviously can tell that. So if you want to tweak this build, you may can get a higher defense or you can get a, a lower ball handle if you know how to dribble and you know what I'm saying. But this literally, this build right here, just off these three stats alone, 91 still, 95 ball handle, 94 three pointer. How do you have all this? 89 dunk. This is literally the craziest thing in the game. And then with the block, you want to go to 34. And then the defensive rebound, you want to keep this like it is. Now listen, read that keyword speed and agility does not matter when the ball is in your hand it literally says in fine print affects how fast a player can run or sprint around the court without the ball so mind you speed and agility does not matter so you can keep this at 86 and a 76 this is only for like lockdowns and things like that if they don't have the ball in their hands but this right here is the one more thing that's required so you can get the contact dunks and I will be dropping all the contact dunk packages that you need in the, to get the contact dunk in the dribble tutorials and everything. If y'all can get this video right here to a list 200 likes so we can keep pushing and keep going. But you need this vertical right here to be a 78, man. A 78 vertical. You had this vertical at a 78. This is how you get the contact dunks. It's how you get the posterizer on silver. It's how you literally get everything. So you have to have a 78 vertical and do not go 93 driving up. 95 99 do not do that bro i'm telling you 89 driving luck is literally all you need and then at the end of the day you should get these comparisons dave bling i don't know whoever that is De'Aaron fox damian Lillard. that's good comparisons what you think that's good comparisons man in my opinion now listen the build is going to be called shot creating three level threat that's fine to me that's low-key like the average build i'm not gonna lie but that's fine to me that's cool to me you can literally get a lot of stuff and let me know if y'all need the SIGs and all that for this build. I'm telling y'all, bro. I've been getting right on this build. It's crazy. Y'all seen it in the beginning of the clips. This build is going to have y'all moving insane. Now, that's all for today's video, man. And we out. Get this video to 200 likes for me, boys and girls. Man, let's get it, man. We out, man. Next video is going to be very soon. Let me know what y'all want. I'm going to drop the SIGs for this video. I'm going to drop the SIGs for this build. I'm going to drop everything for this build, man. I got y'all, boys.